Welcome everybody. It is your boy Crypto Moose and it's time to get loose. Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and NFT investor. What we're going to do is go over 10 cryptocurrencies that you should know about. These are 10 projects that personally I have been researching and the majority of them I've invested into. So by the way, this is not financial advice. So don't go out and start buying these tokens, sending me messages. Hey, I bought in because of you. You did not buy these because of me. You researched these projects and you made your own informed decision. Okay, sounds fair. If so, smash a like button because you're gonna enjoy this video. The moose is loose, you're gonna get loose. All right, so let's start off with a quick refresh. We are on Coin Market Cap. Um, so that's a website you should all be familiar with. And I'm just going to go through my list. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I'm going to go over this pretty swiftly. However, I will state um, the ones that I'm currently buying, the ones I don't own yet, etc. So these are basically my top ten cryptos um, today that I think are somewhat good opportunities. Okay, um, so today we are Monday, October sixteenth, almost nine p.m. EST. So to give you an idea of a time frame, all right? So let's dive right into it. Number one is going to be Bitcoin. We talked about this even recently. Um, I just did a video on the Crypto Moose channel. So under videos, it's the top three cryptocurrencies for long-term. Check out that video, some of which we will discuss here. So let's dive into a little bit of Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, first cryptocurrency that really took off um, in, in what sparked or springboarded the entire ecosystem that we see today. So currently, what is this saying? 1.8 million cryptos. I know there's a lot. I don't think there's that many different crypto assets, um, but definitely with NFTs for sure. Um, so let's talk about Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, there's only ever going to be 21 million, right? It's the most widely accepted name. And to make a long story short, Bitcoin is responsible for 40, 50% of the market. Um, in fact, Bitcoin's dominance is 50.7%. So half of the market cap is with Bitcoin. Okay, so that's the, the one that we know will most likely stick around. So I own some Bitcoin and I like to add more. Um, don't expect Bitcoin to 100x, but could it potentially 4, 5x over the next 5, 10 years? Absolutely, absolutely. So number one is Bitcoin. Number two is Cardano. We talk about Cardano a lot. It's at 25 cents right now. Cardano, effectively an Ethereum killer or Ethereum competitor, um, offers you know, a great infrastructure. It's a proof of stake um, blockchain where you can stake your tokens and earn a little bit of the new supply. So that's what staking is. We talk about it a lot here on the channel. Um, so other than that, I mean, you have smart contract capability. So the idea of Cardano is you have security with scalability, so you can build on top of it, build DeFi, gaming projects, so much happening. And um, Cardano is one of those tokens that you could see at eight to 10 bucks, which will be a 25 to 50 X uh, potentially, right? So Cardano is my number one position because in terms of a risk to reward, I see very little downside compared to other blockchain technologies. And in terms of reward, it could do extremely well. So that's me personally. I'm about 40% Cardano, uh, maybe even 50%. I am bullish long term. So that's Cardano in a nutshell. Um, number three, we're going to talk about Polkadot. Here it is, number 14 on the list. Polkadot's very cheap. So if we take a look and I... I think I have a little bit on one of my wallets. Um, definitely um, not something I've been picking up yet um, as I felt like we were always gonna go a little bit lower, which we have. So out of every project we're gonna talk about, if we go to the one year, DOT has been down probably the most. Actually, there's another project that's down even more. Uh, but, but in terms of one of those top tier uh, blockchains, or like crypto tokens, Polkadot could do extremely well. Uh, we're talking about $3, could definitely 10X with the next bull run, if not much higher. 
So I believe they're called as layer zero. They're helping out with the interoperability with other blockchain technologies. So definitely I'll be on the lookout for Polkadot. I think it's a great project and it has a lot of, a lot of potential, right? It has a lot of potential, a lot of capabilities, and yeah, we're gonna see where it's at in the future. It's, it's definitely, you know, it's definitely very difficult to say what's gonna happen, right? We don't always know what's gonna happen, but uh, yeah, that's polka dot number three. Um, number four is meld. So I have a little bit of meld. We're gonna have to type that one in. It is ranked. Don't even know what the ranking is. So on my treasure, you can see I got what twelve hundred bucks worth. It's down recently, um, but the idea of Meld is that they are a non-custodial, meaning you own your private keys, you set up an account, and um, you can you can view and manage your entire portfolio on their app. So they're gonna have an app. They already have a desktop um, type of ordeal going on, and with Meld, they're a lending and DeFi protocol, which is really cool. So the idea is that you can bank, you can be your own bank. That's the motto of Meld, okay? So what is that? Four billion max supply. This project could absolutely rip, okay? If there's one project, I mean, what? This is at 40 million in market cap. This project is one of those ones where, especially now, I mean, all, all time it's low, but even on the one year, we're down 50%. Um, by the way, this is not accurate. I would say, this project is a one to two cent token. When it first came out after their ISPO, the token was valued much higher. That's not the accurate price. The price of Meld is really a penny or two, okay? Um, so Meld is very interesting. Um, they have their own blockchain. So right now you can pick up Meld on the Meld blockchain. Go to the channel, type in Meld, find out you know, go under videos, check out for meld videos. You should be able to type it in, right? So type in meld on my channel and you can see all the meld content. You know, I, I pretty much answer what is meld in the earlier videos. So watch this, what is meld, um, get into staking. Um, you know, we talk about all the different possibilities for meld and it's one of my favorite projects and it's number four on our list. So the next one, Kopi, Cornucopias. We're gonna have to type that one in as well. Very low on the list. I don't even know the ranking for Kopi. Where does it say that? These, these, some of these projects are, like, are ranked extremely low. By the way, Kopi I think is one of the better buys, even though this year we're up 95%. So I, I put in very little. With this wallet, I believe I put in like 500 bucks and over time, I've added a little bit. We're at like 1,500 US, so not bad. Um, all time, we're down 14%. Um, again, it's, it's hard to say because this project's fairly new. Um, but yeah, like at one penny, I was like, I gotta get some of that. If this project goes any lower, I'm buying. That's just me, so not financial advice. Um, so this is a RPG MMO game. Um, looks incredible, they built an awesome team. They have NFTs, like their bubble jets, and um, they're an entire metaverse gaming project. Their racing game's supposed to be coming out. Again, go to the Crypto Moose channel, type in Kopi. You'll find tons of content there. I even have some YouTube shorts. This is, this is the one project that I wish I was buying more of because if there's anything that's gonna 100X or more is gonna be Kopi. Like this project, if it hit two bucks, I'd be like, okay, I knew it. And I'm gonna kick myself, you know, for the rest of my life. Uh, but I'm very bullish on this and it's, it easily earns number five on the list, okay? So number six, that is going to be Adam. So Cosmos, Cosmos we should be able to find, uh, should be anyways, here it is, number 26, Cosmos. So interoperability. Um, the reason I like Cosmos is you can stake Cosmos very easily. So I don't have a lot of Cosmos um, on my Trezor. Or is that on my Alipal? Yeah, one of my devices, I have a little bit. Um, the idea of Cosmos, really, most people get it for their insane APY um, or APR. So you can stake this token, 
and earn 20% year over year, compounding your money or doubling your money every five years approximately. So I'm gonna be doing more content on that in the future and Cosmos has been around for a little bit. I do not see this project um, uh, failing anytime soon. So the next one, so we've gone through five, six. So number seven, Hex, Hex. So this is Richard Hart's project and uh, I do not own any Hex. I have a little bit of Pulse Chain. Um, yeah, there's Pulse Chain and then there's, uh, there's a different one, Pulse X. I have Pulse Chain. Um, the idea of Hex is that they are a Ethereum fork and the idea of it is they wanna make transaction costs cheaper. So with Hex, you have uh, a duplicate and uh, basically a, a protocol where you can stake your Hex and earn you know, up to 50% APR. You stake for a long period of time and you delay gratification. That's kind of the idea. Uh, but again, Hex, cheaper transaction costs and they're basically trying to make Ethereum cheaper and better, okay? So that is Hex, and right now the token is so low. Um, on the one, like the one year, we're down 90%. Um, so this is a dollar project, next bull run in my opinion. So that's why I have it on the list. I do not own any, and the main reason it's down now is because um, the SEC has gone over, um, has gone after Richard Hart. Um, whether you believe the guy or not, he is smart and he knows how to hype up projects. So again, I don't own any, uh, but comment down below. Are you guys a hexagon? I know that's kind of like the community um, talks for that, but um, yeah, that's hex. Um, could do very well. So these are projects you need to research, okay? Um, what is the next one? So we've got Sunday. And the reason I have Sunday here, so that's Sunday Swap. This is a DEX, so a decentralized exchange for Cardano, and look at the one year. It is dirt cheap, very, very cheap. So let's try to get an accurate number. Down 70% all time. It's just been crushed since its existence. So, I mean, you're talking about a DEX in a project that's that in next bull run could do extremely well. Um, so this is one of those ones where I, I think I have like 10, 10 tokens, not a lot. But I've been debating picking some up just a little bit because, again, it, it comes down to risk to reward. And this has a massive reward. And the risk, I don't see too much. Um, again, they just have branding issues, whatever else is going on. Comment down below if you know more. Again, I'm not telling you to get this. I'm telling you to look into it because these are massive opportunities, okay? So that's Hex. Um, there's MinSwap that's doing well, but this is a direct competitor. And they have better branding, in my opinion. So that's Sunday. The next one is GLMR. So I believe that's, is that Moon River or Moonbeam? GLMR, yeah, Moonbeam. So, you know, you have, you have influencers who have talked about this project and quite frankly, it's an all-in-one ecosystem. Um, this is one that I'm still researching more myself, but I wanna bring it to your attention because again, one year down 61%. All time, it's been obliterated. This is one of those projects where you can make a crazy amount in the next bull run. So again, you, you, you have to time it because if this goes to a penny, you're gonna be down like 15 times. So uh, you can go up 30X, but if you go down 40X, that is not fun either. Um, so Moonbeam is an Ethereum compatible smart contract pair chain on Polkadot. Moonbeam makes it um, easy to use popular Ethereum developer tools um, to build or um, redeploy Solidity projects. So yeah, so the idea here is that um, it's more of an EVM implementation, right? Um, so even here, let's take a look. So I need to research Moonbeam a little bit more. Um, the reason I'm really bringing it to your attention is because in terms of token price, it's down a lot and it had a lot of attention in the last bull run. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna talk about any more than that. I don't know too much. Um, in comparison to other projects, but it does have potential, okay? So number 10, we're gonna keep it short and brief here. Um, I had a token, but I wanna go over something else, and that's going to be Polygon Matic. 
I like Matic in the main reason being, one year, we're down 33%. This is a layer two scaling solution for Ethereum. Ethereum's gas fees is, uh, Ethereum's gas fees are high. They're somewhat egregious. And Polygon Matic has the ability to fix a lot of that. So you can use the Matic chain, you can easily, um, you can easily use Ethereum in a cheaper, faster way with scalability, et cetera. So Research Matic, they have a great team and it solves the big issue for slow Ethereum and quite frankly, expensive gas fees, okay? So those are my top 10. Go through them all, make your own list. Um, we have online courses in the description below. Um, again, check out the channel, go under videos. We have tons of content. It's it's gonna be unbelievable. We'll have a thousand videos um, by 2025. That's my goal. Um, by the way, I wanna give a quick shout out to, uh, is that SIBA? Um, that's the that's where you're delegating to. So the SIBA, the SIBA um, ISPO or you know the stig pool, I don't know what that is, but I wanna give a shout out to 5185, this wallet. Um, they sent me this awesome NFT. So for those of you that don't know, if you go to book.io, I already logged in. Uh, maybe I'll have to re-sign in in a different video, but um, if I sign in and I check out in my library, um, I have my, my NFT here. So now I can go in and read this book. So um, I'm not gonna do that right now. It's also on my Trezor Model T, so I don't know if it works. But I wanna give you a shout out. Thank you for sending me this NFT. Um, if you guys want to keep in touch and check out my Cardano picks, this is my my main public wallet. So it's tie.ada. Um, and yeah, just wanna give a shout out. Um, I love this NFT, I'm not gonna sell it. So I appreciate that. So I went through, um, found your state key and whatnot. Um, so with that being said, check out our Cardano mini course. If you wanna pick up a Trezor or a Ledger, we have affiliate links for you as well. But this Cardano mini course is free. You will learn the following, what is ADA, wallet setup, sending, receiving, staking, yield farming, and more. So with that being said, the moose is loose. Check out our online courses and stay tuned for more free crypto and NFT content. Cheers.